Hey, doing YouTubers. I decided to make a video today, totally unrelated to gang stalking and this um this shit that we're seeing in the world. I decided to make something positive actually, and share something um great with you guys. I should say something that I've experienced for the past five years, and it's just it's probably what's kept me going through this um through any negative shit that I've been experiencing. I don't want to get into that, but um. I'm here to talk about positive. So I'm here to talk about the the Australian working dog, the Kelpie. Such a beautiful breed, very intelligent. Gotta thank the man or the group of people that um that bred this dog, that that created this breed. They just, anyways. The 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 name Kelpie is a mystical Scottish water horse that used to take um children off the banks of the rivers and stuff on its backs on its back I should say and then drown them and eat them that's where the term the name Kelpie comes from and uh, my dog's name is uh, Dakota and ironically we both stand with Standing Rock so um yeah and Dakota means I think it means man's best friend or best friend and um I'm Named her, um, yeah, without knowing all this. But, um, yeah, just so you people know, this dog, when you, it's not your pet, you're not its master. You gotta understand that when, you, when you're entering into an agreement, into a relationship with a Kelpie, it's a mutual agreement, it's a mutual relationship. There's give and take, there's sacrifices. But the sacrifices that you make, I, I bet you anything. I mean, I, was, I should say I'll lay anything on the table and tell you this. It's worth every bit of sacrifice. The relationship that you share with this dog is unlike any, any relationship you'll share with any living creature on this planet. They're very intelligent. And I'm not sure if it's because they got dingo in them. And dingo is a subwolf, So they have kind of like this, this strong sense of self. They know what they want. Very independent. And um, if you don't let them know that it's a mutual relationship, they will dominate you. They will be the pack leader. They'll just fall into that, that denomination naturally. If you don't assume a mutual relationship with them, they will try and sit on top of you. And um, yeah, you will lose some and you will win some. But be very prepared because um, they're a handful. And once they get past the age of four, maybe three or four, or even five, they start maturing and you start reaping benefits from all the hard work and sacrifices that you've made along the years. Um, you, won't, you won't have anything by your side more than a Kelpie. It will be by your side till the end regardless of who's standing in front of you and it's beautiful because you will never experience that not even with family not even with any other human being they won't ditch you for anything or maybe they will for food but that's my fault because I've spoiled her with food but at the end of the day she'll always run back regardless to touch base and then walk off again that's what I love about these dogs. You let them go at the park, they always come back, sniff you, then run off every couple of minutes just to sort of touch base. I love her. Have a gaze, folks. Thick. She's camera shy. She's not usually shy of attention. She's always running up to people in the street. That's what trips me out about her. She's super friendly out in the street, but the second someone approaches the, the front door, she goes ape shit. Her hair on her back starts to stand up, her tail swells up, and she starts showing her teeth and flicking out her tongue like a bloody hellhound. It scares the fuck out of me. People don't understand Kelpies. They think that um, they're very timid and weak, but they're not. They're very, very aggressive and they 
they have a very aggressive side to them. And it, it does come out every now and then when they don't like certain things. They'll let you know. But no, they're not a fighting dog. They're not bred for fighting. They'll probably confuse a fighting dog. They'll probably confuse a pit bull. A very well-trained Kelpie in fighting will run circles around any fighting dog, just napping at its heels and feet, confusing the shit out of it. They're so intelligent, you have no understanding. They'll even trick human beings. If you're not on top of them, they'll trick you. They're tricksters. Very clever. Sometimes I see um, intelligence in, in her that um, humans should, should have, but we don't. It's strange. Showing she's exhibiting more intelligence than um, human beings. There you go. The Kelpie. The Australian Kelpie. The best dog in the world. It's not your pet. You're not its master. You're its equal. So if you just want a partner for life and you want to experience something beautiful, I'm telling you, just go get yourself a Kelpie pup and keep it by your side 24 hours a day. When you sleep, when you eat, when you shower, naturally it will want to be by your side anyway. But yeah, try it out folks and I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. They're fabulous, fabulous dogs and that's all I can say. Just give them a go. They're awesome. Ciao.